I uh, just want to remind you of a couple of things. Um, of course, we're coming up on the end of property tax season. So as of April 1st, if you haven't paid your property taxes, as of April 1st, they'll be delinquent. And so a penalty will attach as of April 1st. So uh, I always encourage, this is the time to go around to maybe your elderly neighbors, or maybe uh, you know somebody who's lost a spouse. We always find during this time of year, this is when um, you know people, Maybe their spouse took care of the bills, or they expect their kids to take care of the bills, and it just doesn't happen. I always like to remind people to do a checkup. Do a checkup of your neighbors, uh, people in your church, people in your community, uh, and just make sure, sort of remind them and ask them whether you know their, their property tax bill uh, has been paid. Uh, because, uh, again, the last thing we want is for them to lose their property, uh, lose their house uh, over an unpaid bill. Because what will happen after this month uh, is that uh, once they go delinquent in April, of course they still have two more months to pay. At the end of May, we start conducting what's called a, a tax certificate sale. Uh, and then that goes up, unpaid property taxes go on a tax certificate sale at the end of May, which is online. Um, and uh, after the tax certificate sale, it, somebody has two years uh, before to pay their property taxes uh, with interest at that point. Uh, before that becomes eligible for what's called a tax deed sale. Uh, so during that two, two year time period, somebody's uh, house still can't be sold out from under them. It's and not for two years, and then somebody, that tax certificate holder applies for what's called a tax deed. Uh, and then once that tax deed is applied for, the process actually goes to the comptroller's office, and, and it's the comptroller's office that does what's called a tax deed sale. Uh, now in my office, and, and we do this every year, so we'll start doing this uh, right after uh, April 1st as well, because that's um, uh, when these tax certificates from two years ago are eligible for tax deed sales. So my office will actually go start going around to every piece of property that has a homestead exemption on it, uh, that, is, that has, also has a tax certificate that's at least two years old, and we'll go around and visit every one of those houses. So if you happen to see us in the neighborhood, if you see your car, that says Orange County Tax Collector. Um, that's what we're there for. We're really there to, to try to give the taxpayer every every piece of information we can to try to make sure that they don't they don't lose their house to a tax deed sale. And that usually involves um, several hundred. That, that's about a thousand visits every single year that we make just to just to see what's going on. And a lot of times, what again, what's happened is a spouse has passed away. Dementia may be setting, you know, something like that, or again, the kids were supposed to take care of the bills and the kids suddenly didn't, uh, something like that, and we do our best because really all they have to do is pay off that first tax certificate in order to avoid that tax deed sale. So they don't have to catch up all the way because we catch it before the tax deed sale is applied for. We try to. So